Howdy gamers, Patrick Hickey Jr. here, Editor-in-Chief of ReviewThanks.com, bringing you the next edition of Flashback Friday. This week out we will be playing Gauntlet on the NES. So, Gauntlet rules. I'll tell you why Gauntlet rules. Because people love playing games like this. The, the clearing of the rooms, um, the fact that this could be played multiplayer. This stuff just does not get old. Imagine this like in the arcade in the 80s, man. I mean... <laughs> I mean... There isn't like much in the way of like technology here. You're just, you're just firing and stuff like that, you know? You're looking for keys and stuff like that. These guys are waiting for you. But, I mean, this game is so much more fun with friends. Got another key. So this is just like non-stop button mashing. There's skill involved in this. Make no mistake. But Gauntlet is fun for the simple fact that, like, it's got great music. You can barely hear it because I got it on pretty low. But, um, this is the beginning of, like, Dungeon Crawlers. I freaking love this game. There you go. I love how fast the archer is. You don't take no shit. So, yeah. If you're looking for something to play during quarantine, this is it. Because this game does not get old. This game is a ton of fun. Again, visually, it probably hasn't aged that well. But it does what it's supposed to do. We got the exit. And that's the end of the first level, baby. That's kind of how this game works. You just clear the rooms, you get the keys. Super easy to understand. Great music. Visually, it gets the job done. You can see everything that's on the screen. You feel like you're growing with the character. Getting all those keys, baby. I just loved how, like, everybody could kind of play the game differently. You know? Again, classic. Like, see, we just finished this level already. Boom. You can play longer, you can get more treasure, you can loot, you can do all that stuff. That's why this is still such a freaking special game. So, stop watching me play it and play it yourself.